Hello everyone and welcome to Quicksafe TV, your number one source for Skyrim coverage on YouTube. Today I'm really excited to have you here because today we're going to talk about the ways of influencing your alchemy, smithing and enchanting. I will show it on the example of the my favorite smithing. Now, as you all know, there are skills to govern all of this, uh, all of this, how do you call it, crafting professions. We have enchanting, smithing and alchemy. Let me just go ahead and show you the alchemy. Where are you, alchemy? Here you are. Perfect. Now, there are several ways in which you can influence the quality of all of the products of all of these skills. Uh, of all of these skills. Let me show you an example of smithing. As a master smith, I can create any kind of armor. I even went so far that I have all the kinds of armor available, and I'm going to show it to you an example of the Daedric axe, battle axe. Just go ahead to the grindstone and create upgrade the Daedric War Axe. Perfect. That's the axe. It has 23 damage. Notice how I, I am in a master in uh, one-handed weaponry, but I have no perks which improve the damage output of an axe. In your case, the damage, the basic damage might be much, might, might be much higher, specifically two times as high. Now we have 23 damage. Let's go ahead and improve it. 40. We have how much? It's 17 points improvement. Let's go ahead and improve it. Perfect. Now, in order to improve above that, above what you already have, you have to go ahead and create yourself a set using enchanting, which I called Master Set. Just gonna go ahead and equip it. Altogether, it gives 100% bonus to the crafting of any kind of equipment. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and improve the axe further. Now we have 40 damage. Let's improve it further. We The further improvement is 14 additional points. Notice how the price is also going up. Perfect. Now, in order to further improve from this step, you will have to find or create a potion which is called Blacksmith Elixir. Experienced alchemists will be able to, imp uh, to create much stronger version of such potions, but for simple people like us, <laughs> me specifically, you have to go ahead and find them in dungeons as a, as a random loot. Blacksmith's Elixir for 30 seconds, 50% better. Let's just go ahead and drink it and quickly start working on the product. Ta-da! We can improve it even further. Oh gosh, I can improve my bow also. Perfect. 54 to 67. The step is... How much is the step? 13. Perfect. So in total, we improved our axe to 67. Don't forget, it's again, it's not perfect. To further improve the effect, there are potions which improve your enchanting as well. Where is that? Plentiful stamina, ultimate magicka. Enchanting Enchanter's Filter, perfect. For 60 seconds item enchanted 20% stronger. Now think, if you are a professional alchemist and you will be able to create potions which improve it to say 50, even 100%, you will be, will be able in first place to create the master set which will be much better than my own. You will be able to create something like 50% bonus to smithing and then you will be able to improve your axe even further right again you can improve anything like this and it also uh, it also influences enchanting and alchemy with alchemy you can create yourself a set which will give you a bonus you can drink a potion which will give you a bonus but you have to act quickly because you don't have too much time in alchemy in uh, smithing you don't have to improve too many things and it's very quick to do that so you don't really have to worry about it and enchanting it's also you have to be really organized and really quick might it might happen that you need several potions to do that now notice how from the simple basic damage we improve the axe over two times if I'm not mistaken in numbers over two times quality over even almost three times almost three times again don't forget I'm a real newbie in one-handed weaponry. If you are a pro, a real slayer, your Daedic War Axe which be m will be much better after you improve uh, after you improve it using this technique. This technique, again, is applicable to alchemy, smithing, and enchantment. If you have any further questions, go ahead and ask them in comment. I will be more than glad to answer them for you. If you enjoyed the video, like the commentary, and it was helpful to you, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. It was great having you here. Thank you very much for coming. Have a great day, and bye-bye.